Okay, it's approximately 3.30, I believe. It's been four hours since we first started. Um, we were imaging uh, for the past two and a half hours. Um, so as you can see, there's still some quite a bit of dry ice in there. And the battery on the camera is actually pretty close to being dead right now, which is one of the reasons that I stopped it. Um, I take... Uh, I had this this guy on from before and as you can see there on the inside of this there's lots of little water you probably can't see that's out of focus lots of water vapor here or water drops right here on the outside not nearly any on the inside here at all um, so this is where CO2 would leak out and take with it the water or condense the outside water I should say this is in contact with the outside air so that's that's water from the outside um, I'm going to try to see if we can see inside here at all to see if there's looks like there is some water condensate on the inside of the or maybe that's frost on the inside of the bezel of the LCD, there aren't really, and there's also some frost up here on the on that box, but we don't see drops per se. So I think we're all safe from respect to water itself. Now we never do worry about this stuff getting in the into the sensor, but the sensor's a lot warmer than the outside here. So I think we're all set. Again, that's four hours after we put that block of CO2 in there.